Hello everyone, thanks for coming to the Japan Food Channel. Today we're going to make some more excellent sushi and look at this, this is beautiful. Now the first thing you want to do is get your rice base and if you don't know how to do that, click on the link, we definitely show you. And here we put the cucumbers, we got the crab sticks lined up in there too, and also we have our cream cheese strip. And when it gets a little warm, it's a little hard to play with, but uh, you can handle it, I'm sure. Then we have some chicken breast here, and it has a light teriyaki sauce on it, that's optional. Now what you wanna do is not pack it too much, but roll it over and squeeze it firmly but gently. Pull up the saran wrap and keep going forward, rolling firmly but gently. You definitely wanna be firm here, but you don't wanna mush everything together or mess up the rice or rip the, the, you know, the seaweed inside of it. Once you get to here, you wanna unwrap it from the saran wrap, and here you go. This is the sushi ko. This stuff is great. This really adds a nice touch of flavor and a lot of color to your sushi that makes it just jump out at the plate and gets everyone real excited. So we take you know, a fairly generous handful, about half a handful, and rub it all over there. Then with your sashimi knife, your sushi knife, you want to start cutting from the center and move to one side. If you guys don't have one of these, check out our blog. Amazon has them for $12. They're a steal. Ours is a little dull right now, but trust us, this is going to be one of the sharpest knives you ever own. For 12 bucks, it's a steal. And now you go ahead and you take your sushi and you put it on the plate how you want to present it to your guests. And there it is. Look at that. This stuff is delicious. Definitely try this one at home. You're going to love it. I promise you. Thanks for watching. We appreciate likes and comments. Please remember to subscribe.